So I wanted to show you my uh, process for planting the seeds. So I've got this tray um, ready to go. What I've done is I have put some duct tape on the side and I'll use a Sharpie to mark um, what I'm planting in each of the cells uh, going down the side of the tray so that I'll know exactly what's in this tray. And then I've got my seed starting mix. I put a little bit of worm castings in it and I've also pre-wetted it. So I've got it uh, moist. It's not soaking wet but it is moist. I found that if you put dry mix into your cells uh, and then plant your seeds and then try to water it, it does weird things. So you get much better results if you kind of pre-moisten this, then put it in, plant, and then water thoroughly once your seeds are in there. And I wanna talk a little bit about seeds. You can see from the seed packet, there's a lot of information. It tells you, you know, when you need to start, four to six weeks early, transplant after frost, and the spacing. Um, some seed packets will even tell you how deep to plant stuff. This one doesn't, but that's okay. Um, most rule of thumb is to, however large the seed is, to put it um, between two and four seed lengths down in your soil. So for tiny seeds, this obviously means it's going to be pretty close to the surface, and for larger seeds, it can go deeper down. Uh, it also has your germination rate in there. That's what the 91% is. And it tells you that these seeds were packed for 2020 this year. So um, that means that this packet of seeds is probably going to germinate pretty close to um, what it says it's going to. And when I plant seeds, I like to plant at least 10% extra seed um, than what I am planning for in my garden, just because not every seed is going to germinate. If I'm planting fewer than 10 seeds, um, then I just do one extra so that I just you know have a backup in case uh, something doesn't germinate. If you're using old seed from previous years or see you know you don't know what year it's from, um, a lot of seed will last for three, five, ten years and in storage and be just fine. Some seeds uh, like um, alliums and spinach really only you should buy new seed every year. Um, they're not going to germinate very well at all if you save them uh, past the year you bought them. Um, but if you don't know what your germination rate is and you're not going to do a germination test, then you, it's okay to overseed, you know, put two or three seeds in each little hole um, just to make sure you get the germination rate that you want. If it over germinates, you need to go through and, and thin them because um, these are pretty tiny little holes here. You don't want too many plants. You don't want more than one plant growing in this, in each hole in this tray. So I'm going to get my soil in, I'm going to get my seeds in, and then I'll show you what this looks like under my grow lights.